been told to meet Dr. Kerry Kilburn. He wants my help in an experiment that'll investigate how my senses work. I hope this is the right place. Dr. Kilburn? Howie, come in. Nice place you've got here. Look, when do I start helping you with this experiment? Oh, you already have. Look. I've been watching your responses to different stimuli we showed you in the house. And now we'll look and see what your brain is doing to those same things. How? Well, we'll use this. We put this on your head, and we can measure your brain waves. Mm. Could you hold this right here? Right. This special cap has 128 pads, which will detect electrical activity in my brain. There, how's that? Um, what happens now? And now I plug this into the computer so we can see what your brain waves are doing. Right. I'm going to repeat the stimuli that we showed you in the house, and then we'll see on this screen what happens in your brain. Ready? Open. Huh. The pads pick up my brain's electrical activity and store it in the computer. If I hit play, there. Whoa. White indicates the greatest electrical activity. It starts at the back, where sight is processed. It then spreads out as the brain tries to understand what it's seeing. When it does, it sends messages to my body to react. So after the initial stimulus here, all the rest of the brain kicks in to decide what to do about it. That's right. So how long does it take to go from the visual centres recording the image and my whole brain deciding what to do about it? It takes about a third of a second. Phew. And that's exactly what was happening in the haunted house. Yes, that's right. Look, you saw the candles and shadows. Your brain worked out that this is probably dangerous and it told your body to get you out of there. Now let's look at touch. Reach forward with your right hand. Oh, slime! Now, let's see what happens. We're looking here at the left side of your brain. The, the left, left side of the brain the is where touch is first registered. Yeah. Again, the brain has to think about what it's touching touch to work out whether a reaction is needed. Reaction. And then the action moves very quickly to other parts of the brain. I see. So really, it was just like the cobwebs I ran into in the house. That's right. Look. You felt the cobwebs. You remembered you were in a scary place, and you reacted. That's brilliant. Well, I guess that's it. I really feel I know it all now. I'd better be off. Not so fast. There's one more sense to test. Ah! 